at Cardiff. We're with Ali today looking at scooters and what's the model that we have here in front of us? So this is the Aspire Superlight scooter um, in a beautiful light. Yeah, so occupational therapists always looking at scooters to help people navigate the environment, get out in the community and become more independent. What are some of the key features of this? Often I think people are used to seeing quite big scooters, but this yes. one's quite lightweight and I'm assuming has some key features that people would consider here. Yeah, that's correct. So this is a lightweight pull-apart scooter. Um, we can actually pull it apart into six individual pieces. Why would someone pull it apart? So if we wanted to go out into the community or take it to the shopping centres or somewhere away from the home environment, um, we could pack it down, pull it apart and get it inside. Go away um, on holidays. Vehicle, take it away on holidays, go yep. down to the beach. Yep. Um, what What's the things? heaviest piece? So when we pull it apart, the front section is actually the heaviest and that's about 10.7 kilos. Okay, so fairly... Um, you know, that's fairly accessible for most members of the community or um, whether that's a loved one, a partner, family member or support workers, that's, you know, really within safe working limits for support workers to be able to assist in as well as exactly. in the community. Yeah, I guess part of the trial would be um, who's going to pull it apart and are they physically able yep. to pull it apart and get those individual pieces in and out of the car. Yeah, so an occupational therapist would look at conducting that as a piece of the assessment as well. We always, typically with scooters, most OTs will take somebody through a, quite a comprehensive scooter assessment, getting on and off the scooter, where are they storing it at home, who's charging it, is there a PowerPoint where they are, um, all the way through to almost like a mini driving assessment. Can you reverse? Can you check over your shoulder blind spots? Because not only is that for your safety, but out in the community, um, if you're in a shopping centre, it's the safety of those around you. So you need to be able to safely operate. Often liaise with GPs. Is there any medical conditions that may um, impact um, operation of the scooter? Vision, obviously something everyone could understand, but there may be other medical conditions that may impact on operating, similar to driving. Yes. If someone's maybe living with epilepsy or history of seizures, that may be something to factor in as well. Uh, speed, battery? Speed. Yes, so the speed um, is 6.5 kilometres per hour max speed. It has a safe working load of 120 kilos, this yep. model here. Um, battery range will differ dependent on the user's weight, but it can be sort of anywhere from 14 kilometres yep. to 18 kilometres. So even though the wheels aren't, you know, large, large, uh, meaning that you know, it may not be as great as a bigger model in terms of stability on uneven terrain, um, on different surfaces, and that's what an OT would help somebody understand. What are your goals? Where are you going to be using it? Um, it still has that ability to, you know, do a journey out in the community, but maybe better for somebody that has um, quite even ground, maybe in a CBD, good footpaths, connections, of being able to exit the home and be able to journey so that would definitely be a consideration um other things um we've got a nice swivel seat so we can transfer in and out from the side there um and we can also change the angle yeah so, so that's posturally that. yeah not the leaning like mind. this yeah that's a really i like how this model's quite simple but it has um, a lot of those key features to enable that ability to pull it apart and take it to different places, but also still that you can still have some postural adjustment and keep some of the key features yeah. that you need for a scooter as well. Wonderful. I think we've covered quite a bit. I think so, definitely. Yeah. All right. Thanks so much for listening. We'll see you in the next video.